She's only 14 years old, but she took the Canadian government to court and won. It's the latest in the extraordinary case of a stateless young girl who just wants to escape danger to come here with her Canadian family. It felt good that after 10 years of saying the same thing, our story has never changed once. After 10 years, finally, somebody in that level of authority says, yeah, this should have been done a long time ago. So that was pretty cool. Vaden Earl has been fighting tirelessly for a decade to bring his 14-year-old daughter home with him to Canada. He is the only family she's really ever known since her biological mother died when she was only four. But he says the teen has been rejected several times by Canada. It was the most recent rejection that sparked a federal court case. There's no legitimate grounds to reject this this visa. And that court ruled in Woodleen's favor, saying her situation is extraordinary, recommending a new government official review her application. In his ruling, Justice R.L. Barnes saying, quote, Nowhere in the officer's analysis is there any consideration of the benefits to Widlin of enjoying a stable and loving family life in Canada in contrast to the instability, risks and deprivation she has faced and would likely face in either the Dominican Republic or Haiti, a win for Widlin's immigration team in Canada. The ruling reflected that no one is really considering the welfare of a 14-year-old. The Earl family has been living in the Dominican Republic waiting for Canada to greenlight with Lean, born to a Haitian mother in the DR. At the moment, neither country will accept her rendering her stateless. And in recent years, the DR's controversial practice of mass deportations of Haitians has left Baden concerned for with Lean's safety. She's had a gun pointed at her. Here we are now. Approaching the middle of March, still no visa. I mean, we've got, we won, and we're still stuck in this country. She's still in danger. City News reached out to Immigration, Refugee, and Citizenship Canada, who tells us an officer is currently reviewing Woodleen's application. Thank you, Minister. During Thank question you. period recently, the Immigration Minister was asked if he would personally get involved with Woodleen's case on humanitarian and compassionate grounds. It is my position, the position of our government, that we should let due process unfold. The government isn't obligated to respond in a specific time frame, creating a future of uncertainty for the Earls, who are vowing to never give up. They can sit on this file for 10 years. We made a commitment that this little girl is going to be our daughter, and that's it, and she's going to be our whole world. One of the questions we asked the government, how is Woodleen supposed to meet their criteria when her circumstances are unique? A ministry spokesperson did not provide a response, citing privacy issues. For more on the story and the response we got, you can follow the code. Scan the code currently at the bottom right of your screen. Point your phone's camera at it as though you were taking a picture. Click on the link that pops up and you'll be taken to our website where you can read more on Woodleen's journey and the court's de decision in her case.